Welcome to the station where big stories leave. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I am a fellow Ocean Care, and I'm here with Benny Ak and Nimi Dekambi. And most especially, today is Nimi's birthday, so it's only right we say <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, yeah, happy birthday, Nimi. happy birthday to you. Let's do this. I I comes older interesting part. You now. How old am I? Uh, plus one. Uh, hey, plus one. Should I spill? No. We well, gotta spill tea. I can let him on. Alright. So she's <laughs> plus TV's is. plus one. Yes. Yeah. So happy birthday, girl. Thank Long you. life and Thank prosperity, you so much. and um, live your best life. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So let's delve into the first story of the day. Um, Naomi Campbell writes an open letter to. Grammy Awards after Bonoboy's lost to Angelic Kijo. And I think it's worthy of reading. She said, first, I want to say deepest congratulations to Angelic Kijo for our award on Sunday. And thank you to you for spreading the light and opening minds through your music. And to our African giants, Bonoboy, it is only due to lack of education that you have not been honored with the accolades you so truly deserve. You're always a winner in our hearts, always. And to the Recording Academy, there is something that brings joy, strength, and happiness to myself and to so many that hear it. And it is called Afrobeats. Afrobeats is a musical genre played on mainstream and primetime radio, not only across the continent of Africa. And I think um, she said this properly. I like the fact that she uh, congratulated Angelique Kijo, first of all, because um, Bonobo is already a winner for going against a legend like that. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of people have come to criticize Bonner Boy, saying that, okay, they didn't want him to win because they felt it was going to affect his personality. Some said, um, obviously, with Ange Angelic Kijo being on that list, um, there was no chance in hell for Bonner Boy to win. And yeah. uh, some even said um, his album wasn't original wasn't enough. Original. They had so, a lot of samples. samples. So, yeah, so there's been a lot of controversies about this. But regardless, I think Bonner Boy is still a winner. And I yeah. think... Um, it's like um, Tyra Banks, I said Tyra Banks, like um, was it, uh, Naomi oh, Campbell yeah. said, um, it's due to lack of education. Before the Grammy, there was a lot of um, inside propaganda going on about mm -hmm. the CEO who had to step down, saying the working environment and all of that. So um, I think there's a bit of truth in all of this, and yeah. I think we need to start establishing that. The same thing goes on in the BET, by the way, so. Yeah, I think I'll just say that one of the things she said when she was um, when she wrote a statement was that they should create a category for Afrobeats. They should have Afrobeats best album, Afrobeats song of the year, like mm. they do for Latin pop. Because you know there's a there's a category for Latin pop album, mm. and then there are some other you know award shows that they create maybe like a K-pop category because this um, genres of music is gaining you know relevance mm. in America. But would we say that Afrobeats has actually gotten to that level, like maybe Latin pop. Can we say that, um, you know, Afrobeats has got to that level that we now say, okay, we want to create a separate category for Afrobeats? I believe so. You think we have gotten to that? Yeah, because that when you're talking about mainstream. Latin pop, I don't listen to Latin pop. You've never heard Despacito? Oh, that's one out of like a so, million. And, and, and if you look at the success of Despacito, it, was, it really drew, you know, a lot of interest for, for different people into the Latin music industry, and there was now like a huge, um, how like, but there was a huge explosion of Latin music. A lot of people, you know, listening to. If you look at a lot of, if if you if you look at their streams, their Spotify streams, it's that's huge numbers. So does Afro Beats have that amount of listeners? Well, I think so I'll let separate Benny category? say this. Um, what do you think? Do you think um, Afro Beats has <coughs> garnered that much recognition for them to have their own category? Not as yet. What? Can Not as yet. yet. Not as yet. I mean, we're, we're going to get there eventually. Um, kudos to Naomi Campbell for voicing out. First, mm -hmm. I want to say it was okay she said something. Yeah, definitely. And then secondly, she should understand that there was no grounds for comparison between Angelique Kijo and Bonoboy. Mm -hmm. If it was 
an Afrobeat category, they will feel, you know what, Bona was deprived. But Definitely. it wasn't Afrobeat. I mean, um, <laughs> globally, Angela Kijo is a more recognized African artist than Bona Boris. Yeah. We can't even take that away from us. She's the real Mama Africa, mm -hmm. you know. And so I understand her sentiments where she was talking about, you know, Bona, um, the, the lack of education or miseducation was the reason why it was she. she I felt think she only used the was, opportunity to he was deprived. To, 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 voice out. Yeah, the to voice things. out so that there are different genres of yeah, music. Maybe at the end of the day, if it was just an Afrobeat category, Category, yeah. then bonus to the chance. Exactly. Well, we're talking about, um, we're talking about um, the category was for best international international music. World music, 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 world music, music you know? So I'm sorry. Um, let's let's talk about many decades. Angela Kidjo has put into a yeah. craft. Mm -hmm. She has a great body of work recognized mm -hmm. globally by mm -hmm. world music bodies, which one of them is the Grammys. Uh, and, and I think the organizers of the Grammys should stop paying attention because Afrobeat is gaining m momentum. Um, thanks to thanks to his pioneer Afrobeat legend and fella Nicolas Pokuti. I think there's a um, difference between Afrobeats mm. and Afrobeats. Well, Afrobeat without the S. Let's not get it confused. But yeah, Afrobeats yeah, beat is and, actually yeah. fella you know? Sean Kuti, mm -hmm. Femi Kuti. But Afrobeats are the likes mm. of David Do, Whiskey, and the likes. So you still find the, the fusion of Afrobeat in what is generalized as Afrobeats now, yeah. and then we're having with a lot of Western people also infusing our Afrobeats into yeah, their exactly. music. Yeah, exactly. So that's you know, Beyonce and their likes of them, they're doing all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So I believe with time, um, Afrobeat is going to gain more popularity for it to become yes. a category, a category mm -hmm. in the so, Grammys. So not yeah. only that, and not only that, um, kudos to, to Bonner Boy, and congratulations to Angelique Kijo. I wouldn't yeah. have expected anything less. And Bonner should be happy. That's a recognition for him. That nomination mm -hmm. was a recognition by World Gum Music Buddy, and it's, yeah. it's a great deal. And, and she also even like you know she gave, she dedicated, she dedicated, it to she dedicated the award, award to him. Know. So that is and a huge, yeah. a huge deal on its own.